Hello friends, in this one I'm going to show you how to prove the following that there is no odd integer that can be expressed as a sum to, of two even integers. I'm going to do this with a contradiction proof. So let's take a look and do, do a bit of scratch work, understandable scratch work, nothing too fancy. So imagine 5. Now 5, as you know, is an odd number. So if you wanted to, you could write it basically as 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, so 5 ones. Now, try to regroup these in a couple different ways to see what happens. So for example, like if you group this one and a 1, that's going to give you a 2. And if you group those three 1s, it's going to give you a 3 in that position. So clearly 2 plus 3 is 5, but notice that 2 is even, because it's divisible by 2, but 3 clearly is not even. What if you grouped it as 4 plus 1? Then again, you see that 4 is an even number, and then 1 is an odd number. In other words, 5 is odd, and based on this bit of scratch work, we can pretty much observe that it cannot, as far as it seems here, be written as a sum of two even integers. In other words, 1 is odd, 4 is even. 3 is odd, 2 is even. They're not both even. That's the goal, okay? Keep that in mind. So let's do this in a more general context now. So we're going to do this by contradiction by assuming the opposite. So in other words, what is the opposite here? It says there is no odd integer that can be expressed as a sum of two even integers. Assume the opposite. That means that there is an odd integer. That's the opposite of saying that there is no odd integer. Assume that there is one. So assume there is an odd integer that can be expressed as the sum of two even integers. Remember, integers are numbers like, for example, 5 and 10. So what does that tell us? What it tells us is that, for example, call this number a. So we're assuming that a is an odd number that can be expressed as a sum of two even integers. Now look, I have 2x plus 2y. Think about this for a second. You see 2 is multiplying x and 2 is multiplying y. When you multiply things by 2, that basically makes them even. So the right side above my head basically says you have an even number plus another even number. So this is like saying that a, supposedly an odd number, can actually be written as a sum of two even numbers. Okay, so a is our supposedly odd integer. x and y are just both integers like 5 and 10, for example, or 2 or 3, and so on. That means when you multiply each one by 2 to get 2x and 2y, both of those become even integers. You get to multiply by 2. So for example, if x is 3, then you would have 2 times 3, which is 6. If y is 50, then you would have 2 times, for example, 50, which is 100. If y is 9, that's not even, right? But 2 times 9 is 18, which is even. So this quantity, 2x plus 2y, essentially is an even quantity in the sum. But what can you do with this expression with the, on the right side above my head? Well, what you can do is just factor 2 from each term. In other words, you can say that a, supposedly an odd quantity, is equal to 2 times x plus y. But what is that saying? Well, it's saying the following, essentially, that a is an even number because it's equal to 2 times some integer. What does that mean? So it doesn't seem too abstract. For example, if x has the value 5 and y has the value 10, then you have 15. This is telling you that a is equal to 2 times 15, you see? The point is that there's a 2 multiplying the sum x and y. When you have that, it's an even number. So what this tells us is that a equals 2 times an integer, in other words. In other words, it's telling us that a is actually even. Let's stop right there for a second. There's a lot of stuff written on the screen. You have to find our contradiction. So the contradiction is right here. In other words, our assumption that a is odd, so that is from right here, at step number one. Remember, we assumed the opposite. In other words, we assumed that there is an odd integer. In other words, our assumption that a is odd has been contradicted by our conclusion that it is even. And of course, a number cannot both be even and odd. That makes no sense. So the conclusion, in other words, is that what we set out to prove is true. In other words, there is no odd integer that can be expressed as the sum of two even integers. That is the truth. All right, that is it for this one. Thank you so much. Please leave a like and subscribe. I hope this has helped you to understand proofs by contradiction, perhaps in a little bit more depth. I've tried not to make it too mathematical. And always, if possible, try to include a bit of scratch work at a very elementary level that gets at the essential idea that can be very helpful. I'll see you in another video.